If you are struggling with rank 30s and want to know the 10 easiest rank 30s, you have clicked on the right video. Because I'm going to give you the 10 easiest rank 30s in Brawl Stars. At number 1 is El Primo. I pushed El Primo from rank 25 to rank 30 in an hour and a half. As El Primo, you want to play on close range maps, like Skull Creek. You want to survive as long as possible, because in the end game, you are the best, because you have a lot of health. Let's move on to Cordelius. Cordelius is very underrated. He does a lot of damage and can easily escape and surprise others. His hypercharge is also way too good. With this, you can actually kill any brawler. You want to play Cordelius on close range maps with lots of bushes, like Stormy Plains. This clip also clearly shows that you are good against teamers. You can kill them all one by one, just like I do here. What's smart to do is use your super a lot in the end game. That way you can't get killed quickly while everyone else is fighting. Let's move on to Surge. Surge is, in my opinion, one of the best brawlers in the game. Your skill level can be very high, which makes it fun to play. You're good against any brawler from level 3 and up. Make sure you focus on gaining levels in the beginning of the game and only then on cubes. Your levels will make you win. Trust me. Surge, his hypercharge is also broken. Once you have this one, you are unbeatable. Also, Buzz is extremely good. His super allows you to kill a lot of other brawlers, and this creates cubes. You want to play Buzz on maps with a lot of bushes if you use his first gadget. If you play on a map with few bushes like this, one use the second gadget. As Buzz, try to create 1v1s. This is what he is best at, because you stunt the opponent with your super. Often you win the 1v1 and have your super back. So, free cubes. After a fight, you can be low and someone else can attack you, so make sure you don't run any risks when using your super. Once you have enough cubes, you want to play out the end games quietly. Let the others fight. They won't attack you because you have your super. Here, no one creates a danger so I can super on Daryl. Easy win. Let's move on to Bull. Bull is one of the most underrated brawlers in this game. From close range, he does a lot of damage and kills everyone. You have to play Bull on the right maps. His best maps are Cavern Churn and Feast or Famine. Because on this map, there are a lot of bushes so you can surprise your opponents. These are usually easy kills. If you have your super and use it in combination with your gadget, you are unstoppable. Your hypercharge ensures that you take 80% less damage during your super. This is also insane. Meg is also very good. You have a lot of health, and this is perfect for surviving for a long time. You are good from far away through your normal attack and good up close through your super and star power. You can play Meg on almost any map as long as there are not too many bushes on it. As Meg, you want to go for cubes in the beginning and then take the lead in the game. You do a lot of damage and can kill others quickly. Normally in the end game you want to step into the background, but with Meg you don't. Shoot at others so they get low and start fighting each other. They won't attack you as quickly because you have a lot of health. Shelly was my first rank 30 and also my easiest. 
Once you figure out how to play with her, there's no stopping you. You want to play Shelly on maps with lots of bushes. Her best maps are Cavern Churn and Feast or Famine. Go straight to the middle and play aggressively. Because of your super and gadget, you can kill a lot of others and get a lot of cubes. Your goal is to stay in the middle until the end game. In the end game, you don't want to play aggressively anymore. As usual, you let the others fight and strike as soon as they focus on you. Watch how I do this in this game. Since Lily had come out, she was very up. Now she is still very good. She looks a bit like Cordelius, and this is perfect. You want to push her on close-range maps. Even though Kit got a nerf, he is still very good. This is because of his gadget and super. You can surprise people with this and make kills easily. Also, Edgar is easy to push. You want to push Edgar on close range maps. Don't stand out too much. You want to watch out for tanks. Mm. 